Presenting a Pear Deck is slightly different than in other slide programs you might be familiar with. The important thing to remember is that when you hit Start Presenting, you are making a session live for students to join. The first thing you do after you start presenting is choose a view. You can choose to open the session dashboard, which lets you see all the students who have joined your session, or the projector view, which just displays your slides. Depending on your classroom setup, I recommend opening both of these views in two different tabs. You can put the projector view up on the projector and drag the dashboard down on your laptop. If you have a separate device that is not connected to the projector, like a tablet, you can first open the projector view on the projector. Then, on your tablet, make sure you are logged into your same Google account and go to PearDeck.com slash dash. The dashboard view will open up on your tablet and you can carry it around the room with you as students answer questions. Invite students to join your session. When you open the projector view, the first slide will display instructions for students to join. They simply open up a tab and go to PearDeck.com slash join. Then they enter the code displayed on the projector screen. Each student will see a message telling them to wait for the teacher to start presenting. They will not see any content until you progress to the first slide. As students join, you will notice their names show up in your dashboard. Let's take a tour of the presentation controls. No matter which view you are looking at, you will have the same basic navigation controls. You can move the slides forward and backward. As you do this, student screens will progress simultaneously. When you get to an interactive slide, you have a few more control options. You can hide student responses, lock student responses, ask again, and ask a quick question. The hide student responses button lets you toggle student results on and off the screen, Answers are always anonymous, but if you want to be sure students think about the question on their own, I recommend turning responses off until everyone has answered. The Lock Student Responses button lets you lock student screens. When unlocked, students can answer the question on the slide. When locked, student screens will become disabled and they can no longer change their answer. By using the Lock button and the Hide button together, you can let students answer on their own, lock their responses, and then show all responses on the screen. Now you have the opportunity to discuss the different opinions without worrying that students will change their answer based on what other students said. The Ask Again button lets you ask the exact same question a second time without losing the results of the first attempt. For example, after a quick formative assessment, many of your students are confused about a main concept. You discuss further and now you want to check in to see if they are getting it. Simply click Ask Again. Now we see that more students are on track. The Ask a Quick Question button lets you quickly drop in a formative assessment you didn't think of before class started. There is no configuration necessary. Just click the slide type you want to enter and ask your question verbally. This is a great way to do a quick poll or temperature check. For example, I could ask, how ready are you feeling for the test tomorrow? And let students do a quick self-evaluation. Switching views. If you ever need to switch views on the device you are on, simply click this button and you'll get the view chooser. Ending a session. When class is over, it's important that you click the end session button. This lets you name this particular set of answers. For example, you might name this Earth Science Period 1. Now you can give the same presentation to Period 2, but save their answers separately. Once you save this session, you will be taken back to your editor. To review those answers later, you can come up to the Sessions menu where you can find all the sessions you have saved from this file. Here's Earth Science Period 1 that you just saved. You can click this Options menu to review the answers, reopen the session to let students continue responding, or rename it. That's how you launch a presentation session, collect and share answers during class, and save the answers for later review. In the next video, we'll show you how to review student answers.